So let's talk about the process of seduction, which involves adventure and romance. Obviously, you have a new romance. It's adventurous because he lives in another state. Yeah. So what's helpful from an attraction point of view is that you guys can't physically see each other all the time mm -hmm. other than FaceTime or talking or texting or having video dates. Yeah. So you have that distance. You wonder what he's doing mm -hmm. when you're not around. Obviously, he can wonder the same things, and that engages your emotion yeah. to help you emotionally bond with him versus like if he was in the, the same city. Mm -hmm. I think it's like a thrill, like the adventure is thrilling that he's not here, so it makes it kind of exciting. Um, and the romance part, it makes you appreciate it more since he's not here you know like I feel like my feelings get deeper because I'm like if he were here we would have all the time in the world you know I can see him today tomorrow tonight you know like we would have all the time in the world but since it's long distance we don't have that time so we need to appreciate each other every day plus it's something you're looking forward to yeah you have a reason to look forward to something mm -hmm. like when we plan stuff it's like oh my gosh I'll see you next week yeah. And then a month later, I don't see him, you know, like, it's like, um, it leads up to, um, lots of anticipation. Yeah. yeah. So the fear is like, if he did live here, would it be as exciting? You know, like you just get bored with him a lot quicker, not even bored. It's just like, is our relationship based on this thrill that we can't be together? And then once we're together, it's like, well, it's like the dog that catches the yeah. car. It'd be a huge change you're not used to. Yeah. You know, it'll take a while for you to adapt to anything. Uh-huh. Like, are we still going to be so infatuated with one of the, another like we are now? That's, that doesn't last. That's a fear. Six to 12 months, typically. But with you guys, because you're, you're long distance, because obviously I've had several long distance relationships over the course of my life where literally my girlfriends are in other countries, and we would go a month, maybe six weeks without seeing each other. And it's, you know, then you're only talking digitally and you're like, ah, oh, you miss waking up with her in my arms every day. Yeah. And then all of a sudden then she's there and then you're like living together for three months. Mm -hmm. And then like you're doing everything together 24 seven. And then all of a sudden now they're gone again. And you're having withdrawals. And you're like, ah, oh, yeah. I miss her. And then yeah, when, it's tough. And when you get to finally see them, it's like you want to use that little bit of time to do everything, feel everything, like make up for the time lost. So you make an adventure out of that. Scarcity creates value. So the more someone or something is scarce in your life, the more you're going to appreciate it and value it. Yeah. So you're able to take your time and not get, you know, because if he was here, you'd get in La La Land and you come out of La La Land a lot quicker as well. Just because yeah. you would have enough time together to mm -hmm. really get to know each other. Because people can hide who they are for about the first 90 days. Mm -hmm. And if you guys are only getting together for what, three or four days at a time, mostly? or Yeah, like maybe So it's like days. a weekend, basically. Yeah. A long weekend. So you don't, mm -hmm. And as soon as you get to really appreciate each other, boom, now you don't see each other for several, several weeks until you travel or he travels to see you. Yeah. It's like... We're on our best behavior when we see each other. Yeah, it'll just take you longer to to see what he's really like. I think I'm getting there, though. We've gotten very comfortable very fast. It'll be interesting to see how it unfolds, especially as she starts to learn what's in my book. Because one of the things she was telling me the other day is that it's like 50-50, pursuing. And obviously anybody that knows my work knows that it's just a matter of time before the dude gets friend zoned when it's 50 50 is it's too platonic that way mm -hmm. there's mean, not enough distance or space to really you know even though you have space because you're literally in different states but when you're talking and texting that much it's just like you'll notice the feelings just they won't be as sharp yeah that spark Trust. the um what's the word You'll you'll intellectually you'll be like everything's great, but I should feel differently. Mm -hmm. I should be feeling something more than I'm feeling, and that's typically what leads to the conversation of I'm confused. I'm not sure about my feelings. Yeah, I've definitely hit that road. 
because we went a month and a week without seeing each other. And it was a lot of FaceTime and texting and stuff. And then at one point, like you said, I was like, I don't feel it, you know, like I don't, I don't know why. And he's doing his best to make me happy, to make me feel the love. But there's only so much you can do over a phone. And scarcity creates value because you were talking and texting a lot. You weren't having time away from him enough to miss him because you're in constant contact with a digital device. And it's crazy because he's not here. So I should miss him regardless. But I just felt like I needed more, you know, something was missing. Uh, But then when we finally saw each other, it was like, that's what we were missing. And we were good again. So she thinks. I know. It'll be interesting to see what happens as the months the months unfold. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> Will Carol's new love story last or not? When the guys yeah. doing fifty fifty, you guys can post in the comments below <laughs> all the email video newsletters when it's been fifty fifty, what happens? I just did one I was telling you earlier, I did one this morning. With that, you know, I was I was reading the email and the guy was like, "Yeah, it went from being eighty twenty, where she's doing eighty percent of the pursuing, and he's only doing twenty, which I always tell the guys not to do more than twenty to thirty percent, because you got to give the woman time and space. Otherwise, you're going to smother her. And then mm-hmm. when women get smothered, it's like chasing a cat. The cat's going to haul ass. Doesn't you know? Wants to be left alone sometimes. Yeah. yeah. And and then he said after a few weeks, because he kind of revert. He only read the book once, and he kind of reverted back to his old his old behavior. After he got comfortable with her, and then it was he didn't realize it. It just changed to fifty fifty, and I, you know, as I'm going through it, I was even, you know, because I didn't, I had read the email like the night before when I first went through it, and then I hadn't seen it until I, I sat down to record it this morning, and I was going through, and I got to that part where he's like, it was fifty fifty, and I just looked at the camera, and I was like, yeah, it's just a matter of time before he gets friend zone, <laughs> and like two paragraphs down, he said, well, she said we needed to talk, and she came over and she tried to friend zone. Me. Oh no! I was like, "Is as predictable as the sun coming up in the east and setting in the west?" So I'm interested to see Keep what'll up. happen. Keep I'll, it up I'll, with I am Caroline. too, to be honest. <laughs> but you've already noticed it because when you were talking and texting too much, you were going, eh, "Something feels like it's missing." Yeah, definitely. So it'll be interesting to see as the weeks roll by if, if you start that happens again. I think our what we need to work on is not allowing us to not go that long without seeing each other because yeah, that's want, yeah, you want like a balance yeah basically. if if it's too long then that's when you start questioning you start thinking well if he was in town and you guys were seeing each other i would 100 percent guarantee that you would friend zone him i would not 100 percent guarantee it would happen if I it stayed 50 50 like i said you you'd be excited at first because he's here then after a couple of weeks you'd be going i should like him more than i do i don't so you've already had that experience, but it all has mm. to do with like the topic, the how it stimulates your emotions. Because with women, you guys care about how you feel. Yeah. Whereas us guys, we're more intellectual, we're more visual. But with women, it's like the only thing that matters is how, you know you don't give a shit about how much a guy likes you or your body or how attracted to you he is. Yeah. You only care about how you feel about him. Mm-hmm. And if you ain't feeling it. Sorry. I agree. Ain't feeling it. I do agree. Same. Might not always be right, but I'm never wrong.